This is something I've been trying to find for a long time, and now it's possible. I'm here at SolidWorks. I'm at the 3D Experience uh, conference. I've got my hands on something super awesome. This is an old computer, and it's actually running SolidWorks 95. You can see the feature tree right up here, and you can see the 3D design area. Show how you can edit a macro in SolidWorks 95. And you have the access to the uh, file menu here at the top, the new. I click it, it looks uh, different, but it has the same base element. A drawing, you can cancel, click on help here. You've also got access to the view menu, insert, tools, and there I can find macros. So right now I can record a macro in SolidWorks 95. This is absolutely crazy. Yes. See how the, the play button is kind of grayed out? Mm -hmm. It's grayed out because you're recording. So now if you can click on this button right here is gonna stop. So then it's gonna ask you if you wanna save. We go to tools, macro, and then click on edit. I can edit the macro that we just uh, recorded. And this is the VBA editor for SolidWorks in 95. That's all for this video. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic dive into SolidWorks 95 and its pioneering API. If you need any help with the SolidWorks or PDM API, feel free to reach out to me directly or contact us at bluebyte.biz slash contact.